Problem F33 says, if the 5 kilogram block is suspended from the pulley B and the sag of the cord is D equals 0 0.15 meters, determine the force in cord ABC. So of course, to start off, we draw a free body diagram of the system. And so just before doing that, we want to look at a location where all the forces are being acted upon. And so in this case, that'll be at point B, since that is particularly the point that includes the weight of the block, as well as the tension of the cord. And we can easily find the weight of the block since we're given the mass. And remember that tensile forces always point outwards, just like this. So now that we know what's acting on point B, we can go ahead and draw the free body diagram at that point. So here we have the two tensile forces. And then of course the weight of the block, which is simply mass times acceleration due to gravity. So in this case, it'll be the five kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. which is 49.05 newtons. And I'll just write that value down on the diagram. So now we have all the known forces on our diagram. And the last thing we need, of course, is our coordinate system, X and Y. And now since the cord bends downwards, which creates a pair of angles, we're going to need to find the angles at which the tensile forces act at. So over here on the left, I'll just call this angle theta and this one phi. And here, this is also phi due to alternate interior angles. And on the other side, theta. And of course, these are with respect to the horizontal axis. So now we can go ahead and add these angles to our free body diagram, just like so. And so that pretty much completes our free body diagram. Now we can, of course, move on to equilibrium of our system in order to solve for the unknown forces, where, of course, we set all the forces equal to zero. So starting off with our sum of forces in the x direction, where we consider the right as positive. Here we want to find the x component of the tensile force. So now I'm just going to draw the right triangle that is formed from this force, which for the tension on the left looks something like this. And of course, right now we're trying to find Tx. So to find Tx, we can go ahead and use trigonometry. Looking at the triangle, which one should we use? Sine, cosine, or tangent? Since Tx is adjacent to theta, we should definitely try using cosine. So hence, we will have cosine theta equals Tx divided by T. And isolating Tx, we have Tx equals T times cosine theta. So now, of course, we can do the same for the tensile force on the right, which we essentially get the same expression, Tx equals T cosine phi. And now checking for our signs, of course, to the right of the origin is positive, and to the left is negative, and of course is with respect to the x-axis. So this means that our expression for theta is really negative t cosine theta, since that tension force on the left is acting in the negative direction. And so hence, for our equilibrium expression in the x-direction, we end up with t cosine phi minus t cosine theta. So here, T cosine cancels out, and we're left with phi equals theta, meaning that these angles are equivalent. So now to continue solving for T, we can go ahead and set the forces in the y direction equal to zero, considering, of course, up as positive. So now looking back at our right triangle, we are now solving for Ty. And since Ty is opposite to phi, we can go ahead and use sine. So in that case, we have 
ty equals t sine phi. And since we found that phi equals theta, we can use either phi or theta in our expression. So in my equilibrium expression, I'm just going to sub in t sine theta. And we have to be careful to multiply this by 2 since this is accounting for both tensile forces. So for the sum of forces in the y direction, we have 2 t sine theta minus the 49.05, which is, of course, the weight of the block which acts downwards so that is negative and as you can see here we still have two unknowns which are t and theta so is there a way for us to find the value of phi without really having to know the value of t if we take another look at the problem we are given the value of d which is 0 0.15 meters so we can go ahead and use that value to find theta using trigonometry and now looking at the picture on the left if we draw a vertical line like so we can assume this to be the halfway point of the 0 0.4 meters so this side will be 0 0.2 meters so i can add that on my sketch down here and of course this is the right triangle that is formed underneath the a b part of the chord and here, since we know the values of the sides that are adjacent and opposite to angle theta, we can go ahead and use tangent to find theta. So that'll be tangent theta equals 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.2. So hence, theta equals negative tangent of 0 0.15 divided by 0 0.2, which is roughly about... 36.87 degrees so now that we found theta we can finally solve for t by plugging in the value of theta into the equation for the sum of forces in the y direction so rewriting to solve for t we have t equals 49.05 divided by 2 sine of 36.87 which equals 40.87 newtons.